How's it going, everybody? My name is Jack Brooks, and I'm also here with Russell and Casey. So, right, Russell is the writer of Dying to Be Happy, as well as the executive producer, and Casey is the assistant director and the casting agent and the set coordinator. I am the director of The Ordinary Man and the Not So Good Woman. Uh, that's an inside joke. You'll hear about what that is in a minute, but right now we are watching the award winning short film dying to be happy which is soon to be played uh this evening <laughs> it probably won't be this evening as you're watching this but it will be yeah texas short film festival 2024 spring and we're also here with rue oh you might hear him in the you background. might hear him in the background he's a little a little mutt a little service mutt but we're gonna watch dying to be happy all right so clickety clack let's do we it our crack <laughs> so we start off with uh the the COG logo, which has changed drastically, I finally remodeled the logo. And we get to see whose friggin' back porch, that right? That would be mine. That would be That's your back porch. porch. Yeah. And we get the unfocused uh, little light fixtures, but that's not really the focal point that we want to focus on. We want to focus on the sad little man <laughs> right next to the happiness poster. <laughs> <laughs> Does he look sad? Well, you're definitely contemplating. Contemplating. That's the word, contemplating. Contemplating. It's okay, Rue. It's just Russell. It's just your daddy. Just your daddy. So, uh, a common motif uh, you will see throughout the... Uh, well, definitely this scene when they're uh, Russ and Casey are talking to one another. The uh, window is overexposed as to uh, sort of, you know, demonstrate this this passing on. You know, it's about life, it's about life and death. And it's about heaven and it's about... Memories, so it's it's about that that window into the actual like the window into into memories. That's awesome. Into faith, uh, and uh, you know, it's really just any outside scene, and you know the the current the present, you know the present era of this film, like you know where it's just older Russell. All the exterior, you know, the exterior sets are super. Uh, overexposed, like in the window, and when he's outside later. It's a small town. And I like, I like the fact that but you got the, the way the light is. The yeah. The inside looks dark. Yes. So there's a, there's a darkness. Yeah, there is side darkness. to this. So and they're both wearing, uh, and uh, you know the waitress. You're both wearing black. You're both yeah. wearing dark. And later on, it'll make sense. Yeah, and that's nice. Is that the same? Is that the same shirt you're wearing right now? Yeah, I'm wearing that same shirt. <laughs> That's His wardrobe is very limited. But, no, the circle of life. Though. Wears nothing but overalls. Yes, what you are seeing of that, Russ that's is just who Russell. he that's is. Just, that's just me. Russell. I've worn nothing but overalls for the past probably 15 years. Not quite 15. Really Somewhere in there. Now, Dottie's character, he does not have an Aunt Dottie. But Dottie does own Spatter Dock, which is a real feels, person. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she, she's, she's a real, a real person. person. She actually owns uh, Spatter Dock, which is also a real location located within the town of Uncertain, Texas. On a little little place called Taylor Island. Little, of place, Spatter. little place called Taylor Island. A little, little Gatter Lake. And Spatter Docks are the Gatter Lake, big Lake. lily pads. We learned that when uh, we went out on the boat that you'll see here in a yeah. little bit. And uh, we actually uh, see a bit of a... Uh, well, I wouldn't say close-up, but we get to see... We actually get to see the Spatter Dock Lily in action. Yes. That's during the end. They're beautiful. So was this you projecting right here, Russell? When you uh, you just talked about the afterlife for five straight-up minutes in this... Projecting? Yeah. Projecting is just sort of... You know, when you just info-dump your, your interests? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I spent... You know, countless hours thinking about uh, an the afterlife and, and, yeah. and religions and what happens and other. Of course, nobody really knows. You all have your own ideas Sorry. and beliefs that were brought up with. Dark. And I have this kind of mindset like that takes me off in weird places to think. You know, anyway, what if? What if? I yeah, that's no that's, that's one avenue of my what ifs that my know? mind comes up with. You know, what do you think and I saw based off the you know an old. Uh, Twilight Zone episode. Oh yeah, where yeah. Where the pool, the pool one, where I can't remember the characters, but they were pretty famous characters. They were in the pool hall, and you know he makes a deal with the devil and he dies. He goes becomes the best pool player in the world, but it ends up being like a hell because you know he was stuck there. And, <laughs> yeah. No, you know that that was always I remembered that. So that kind of motif has always interested me. 
so really, what who you're just seeing is Russell, but he, he doesn't he's not dying or anything. Don't worry. It's just yes, this is not. <laughs> this is not. It's it's fictional. Everything's fictional. Everything except for a lot of names that is real people because it's easier. Yeah, there there are real people in certain real places in certain you know all these things. As well as Hartzell up there. Yeah, Hartzell's a real Hartzell diner. <laughs> yeah. You should turn your, your place into a dog. You know, the, the people are watching this and wondering the, the, the mindset of this is kind of like a bed and breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, you should get a plaque installed on your, your house that says, Dying could be happy with them too. Yes. We do need a one. Get with plaques. Don't put crazy ideas in my head. You'll know I'll do it. Yeah. And you should uh, put the table in the exact same place it was, and you should, like, you know, to eat here, it will cost like 300 million. <laughs> I love. The, I love. You know, we need the, the artwork the guy did for the uh, for the. Oh yeah, the poster. Uh, Christopher Schneider or we, we, Dan. Yeah, Schneider, we need that poster. Yeah, we do need a poster. poster of that. We do. We do. Cool. Yes, I agree. Hey, Chris, well, if you're watching this, thank you. How yes, you, you. you did a phenomenal job. You know, like the ones they do for the theaters. How yes. do you get those made? We need to get one. Well, you know, you can just really it's print it right. out because yeah, it's the right it. size and everything. You just have yeah. to get it printed. Yeah, we need to find a frame for it, and then we can put them on on the internet for sale. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Oh, autograph. Get, autograph! get it autograph. Autograph. Yeah, we could autograph them. Spatter dog. Spatter dog. Spatter dog. They Spatter really dog. do have fireplaces, kayaks, private piers. It's a, I took uh, 27 takes of that that shot because of the um. There's a little uh, footnote at the bottom of that sign that says free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm not so sure. I don't think they had free Wi-Fi in the '60s. I don't think they did. Yeah. Probably not. Look at this. Look at this. So Miss Dottie really did make all of these yeah, she, art yeah, installations. This is all around. You know, How old you say Miss Dottie? Miss Dottie is in her late eighties. No way. She writes. She's written some books. She's just. She's just a happy gal, ain't she? She's very artistic. An artist. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'm very, I'm very glad that I'm watching this right now, just to get a, just to get a little refresh because I do have to see this on the big screen oh, tonight in front of. Have you seen it on the big screen yet? Um, like, what do you mean? Just like, like in front like of a bunch like of. Like the theater screen, like we played. Oh wait, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's as good on there. It's oh, it's beautiful. Hey, you got it. You got it. Yeah. Just you got it. Just you got it. Stephanie, I'm a real fan. I love that. Right, Stephanie, up for Thanksgiving. Here, it, <laughs> you think what is it going to look like on the big screen? And you hope, but oh, it's yeah, not disappointing. Yes. And uh, these these children are not in danger. There's not a real alligator. I swear to the Lord. That was just that was just there for that was just a little. Yeah. Just there. There's no gator. Water's dirty, but they there's no brain eating bacteria. So on, on the kids in here, you know, we it's use safe. their actual first names. And a lot of the character references to them and their personalities is actual real, real personality yes, characters like, that they have. Like the nunchucking? Yeah. Yes. The, the nunchucks are funny because uh, Dawson and SJ were staying at our house in the summer, and Russell actually made those nunchucks oh, yeah. for them. So, scrap wood and yeah. stuff that I had around the shop. Yeah. That's my love for the shop. But, uh, Yep, and there's our this is our front porch and yep, front porch. My front, plant falling over. My wife's uh, plant addiction. The color grading's not good though. <laughs> <laughs> the They're making we're making fun of judges' comments right now. Yes. Th those are the inside jokes if you like the ordinary man and the. Yeah, the, they said Russ was just ordinary <laughs> and I wasn't good, which. Not good. Was not good, but uh, but you know the color grading falls within you know. This is a friend of ours, AJ. He's super super nice to do this piece for us. I like color grading. I don't know what's wrong with the color grading. The color grading is about you back in the past and you you back in the past and you're showing off the lives of these other people. I don't understand. <laughs> Oh. What I love is how you did the new oh, yeah. pictures and all that. Just yes. Make that stuff out of the blue. I think that these are kind of stupid, but... Oh, I don't no. think so. I mean, it looks so cool. Oh, I gotta tell it's you, a, Jack. It's a, a realistic side to it. Like, I mean, that, like, it's, you know... But what did they say after our movie at the first festival we went to? They said... We'll be sure to let y'all know next time if there's any violence in the movies. Yeah, because there's certain scenes is kind of what? Kind of yeah, they grabs did. me real quick. Cause it, you know, oh yeah, I do just yeah, yeah. yeah. and the people weren't I, expecting that. So at what, the end of it, they give it like a little disclaimer. Hey, we'll let you know where's any violence in the next one. Okay, <laughs> well, there are like 27 other like violent films. And... There were, and they never. Yeah, but it was just it was I funny. Guess we, we just really the one them before up. it and the drowning, like... the drowning uh, doll, uh, AJ. 
the uh, the one before Esther, sorry yours, yeah, Esther. this one showed it was like real real monotone there was no violence whatsoever yeah. so it kind of stuck out there it's like I, mean, I love these shots of the big truck <laughs> yeah in case he was like, I'll take you to someone who's got know, a truck. Yeah. You know, our, oh, where, and where this part. From, you know, that's yeah. where we're from. That's like the thing with all trucks and oh, trucks. Oh, yeah. yeah that's every redneck's dream. That's <laughs> we had a, we were trying hard to get footage of the paper mill. Uh, some good footage, and we had to drive down a little road that was, what did it say, no trespassing. I just now noticed a little, uh, a little plug for the trucking company on the side of the Yeah. Yeah, they were throwing sticks and stones at us. Yeah, he was excited to do that. The police officer was throwing sticks and stones at you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what were you about to say? Who was excited? Uh, oh, the, the guy. Yeah, he was excited to drive his big truck on the that screen. This is a, a nice and juicy shot. Yeah, I love this shot of Madeline. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot. She is a little... Um, well, she's not, she's not ordinary. She's good. She is good, and she is very much like her character. Artistic and intelligent, knows a little bit about everything. I love that shot that she's got that on her hand that she drew. Like, she just drew that. It fit perfectly. This is my friend Kate. This is shot in Centenary, uh, Tweeport. This is the one Tweeport. Yep. Tweeport scene. That's what it is, Tweeport. What a horrid place. <laughs> yeah, so many of our friends just jumped right in and volunteered to help us out. Yeah, that was not for Kate. Yes. And these, she enjoyed it too. These guys jumped right in the. Who knows why? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's another one of Jack's newspaper clippings. I'm still impressed by that. Yeah. We don't think it's like. Just simple. Oh, well, Autumn. She is a fun loving free spirit. And she did not want to do that shot. She's like, Casey, that's weird. But I think it looks so cute. <laughs> so you're trying to like motion away us. Little, little camera shy. Which and boom, you can see my 2021 Grand Jeep Cherokee. Do not pay attention to that. This is the yeah. 1970s. This is not. Oh, this is my girl, Amber. So she really does work at this jewelry shop. They didn't want to share their name, yep. uh, but they are. Because local. of the violent content. Yeah, because I guess because of the violent content. Oh, oh yeah. Who's that? They, were, they were gracious. This they little gracious. cameo there that's putting Tarantino little records. Oh yeah, yeah. There, that, that was a little. That was a little Jack Brooks. That was the little Jack Brooks right there, the man in the hood. And that's the last thing we shot. That was, we shot yeah. that in Savannah. We, we shot that in Savannah. Yeah. Oh really? When we were moving in. Yep. Because we edited this thing like when I was moving into yeah, school. Yeah, like a week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not even. Like, not even a, just like under a week. So we were like, come on, come on. It's and, the talent for me. Yeah. <laughs> Bogus. Sweet. That's my sweetheart. <laughs> Was I watching you? So, um, we did a little fade in with the audio. Made it just, uh, it's kind of jump cut esque because we just were gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And so you did all the music, right, Jack? Yeah, I did do the music. It's really just the same other flipping, uh, late motif throughout. That just, coffee uh, cup right there. My mouth? Yeah. Wait, what about the mug? What is so... What's... Uh, the mug? Yeah. All right, so that mug is... I saw a film with Kevin Costner called The War. Okay. And he had one of those coffee mugs in that movie, and I fell in love with it. It's a, that little jade coffee mug. Okay. I've been wanting one for years and years. And, this, and this was your big, uh, your big moment with that mug, because like you said, so the whole man drinking coffee while uh, smoking a cigarette in a, in a diner, that was like one of Russell's big visions, as well as Casey's. Yes. He so, talked about that. You no, know, we, we finally put it to action. Yeah, I mean, you know, we the the vision was a little different in in, in the concept, but we worked with what we had. To yes, make it as close to possible, so it was it worked out really good. But uh, I bought the wrong green co coffee cup at first. I was so proud. I found this at a <laughs> antique store, and it was the wrong one. So that was, one's actually from our neighbor. Yeah, our neighbor had a set of them, and, and I was telling them a story about how you tried to find me one, and it was the thin one, not the right one, and you were so heartbroken. And this one's yeah. right. And, but those and are the then they gave it to me. My three really awesome down. neighbors, the Pennington's, they're great. Those are the Spider Doc logos. There's the spider. I love that shot, Jack. That's when why you, Spider Doc's called Spider Doc. When you took that one, I was like, that's going to yeah. be it. And who could forget Chapel of the Evening Star? I love how it kind of is moving and out of focus. Yeah. Because, you know, he... There we go. 
No one understands this film like us, guys. True that. You know, and that kind of ties in with, they the, really with, the, have with the death and afterlife type of thing. Yeah. Although it's so cool. And that I was, love that. I'm so glad you heard. There was supposed to be like a, a shot during the, the kids montage where, you know, I wanted that to reappear. That's. I love you know, that. Little tearjerker. Thank you. Thank God. Yeah, I back to the dark that shirt. Well, you know, you see, yeah. I've got the white shirt's shirt. white now. Yeah. So, uh, Whose idea was that? Yeah, it's because he went from the darkness to the light. Whose idea was that? Well, let's just say it was a little... Uh, it was mine. Lost dog walk. Was that your idea? Okay. Who Whatever. dressed up you? Well. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I love this part, how it's the long... Yeah, it's just, it is just one long shot. And he walks. Now, it sounds... It's very silent. I love that. Uh, it's slowly... Uh, you can you can hear the sound effects and whatnot slowly come to, and they're a little distorted. Because, you know, he's coming too. He's coming too, but in the afterlife. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. He doesn't know where he's at right now. He hasn't figured it out yet. Now, no one knows where we are right now. That's the thing. And in he's the going... theater, like when we were watching it at the other fest, I mean, the quiet was just... Everybody was just waiting. You know, like, if you can imagine being sitting into... on the front porch drinking a cup of coffee, and next thing, suddenly, boom... You're walking, you're, you're, you're there, and like, you know, how in the world did I get here? What Where am I? What the hell's going on? Right. That would be a shock. Yeah, Quicksilvers. So right here I was, um... I love the tree house. Stupid around. Yeah, the tree house. That was good. That was good. That, that has good. a lot of significance. It for, does. For people we know. It does. And then we get to the sign that says Shibui, which we'll see in a moment. Shibui? Shibui. Uh, so yeah, there's, um... That's the other Russell. The other Russell. What, yes. what do we call him? In, what do we call him in this? He's it's Mr. Mr. Russell. Mr. Russell. Mr. Russell. Okay, so Mr. Russell, we we see him. Um, that's that's in the boat. boat. That's the boat in the life jackets. Yeah. Yeah, it's there waiting for him with yep. the life jackets. Yep. yep. So Maybe this was it's... my very original draft for. You know, I wasn't even going to be dying to the Abbey. I, I just had this vision of a little like final, you know, senior in high school, transeshadite, fresh at college, <laughs> sort of thing. Um, but I. Really, all I had in mind was just like this this two to three minute short about these two young boys fishing on a dock. And then I pitched it to Russell and Casey to have it, you know, intertwined with, you know, their visions. And basically, <laughs> Dying to be Happy was written. And I was just so. That's a little bit of direct yeah. direction there, how you need to look up. Did he, you tell him to Jack leave? Jack told me that, yeah. I know. was in the background yeah. saying, jump, babe, jump. Yeah, and he's waiting. He's like, like, look at him right there. He's like telling the kids to go back to waving him. You can see him. I know. He's like, I'm going to. Taking a few. And then he actually. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Oh, so good. Hold on. I got to see the names because I'm so proud of them. So, yeah, Dying to be Happy. Written. Uh, nope. Oh, look, John and Brooks. Hi right, guys, uh, editor, play the video. Okay. Hi. I'm John Miles, and I'm four, and I'm, and my sister is Casey. Oh, written by Russell. I'm John Myers. Rue says this is BS. I'm not in there nowhere. Uh, but we'll put you in the credits for BS. Actually, you know what, editor? Take a photo of him and... Take a photo of him and... I need to write him in a part. Yeah, we need to write him in a part. I know, I know just what to do. Cannon rig Casey Hartzell <laughs> under the direction of John Miles. Final cup quo. <laughs> There's all Miss... Thanks, thanks. Miss Dotty Carter. And thank you, Hartzell and Kent families. We so went guys, and saw Miss Dottie before the yeah, first right. festival. What, what did she say? She said that she was proud of you and to keep her updated and let her know how it goes. And she gave me one of her new books. Oh, that's well. I haven't well, read that. I need to read that. I know. We need to read them. Read it. So that marks the end of Dying to be Happy. Any uh, last comments, anybody? Just proud of y'all. So good. <laughs> y'all. All right. Yeah. Anything else, Russell? No, I don't. I don't think I have any other than I'm just really proud of you and what you did with that. I mean, that's amazing. To me. Yes. And uh, proud of my wife for all the legwork, getting everybody together where they needed to be. That was well. Amazing. Anything for Jack. <laughs> uh, anything to say, Rue? Rue, anything to add? No. Rue said he's cool. 
He said it looked great. Loved it. Very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you. Yeah. Yeah.